Hello everybody, welcome to another Where It At War. Today we are taking a look at the second PTS event for the upcoming 1.4 patch, also known as the RVR pack. As you can see, I am playing Destruction this time. I looked at order in the last video, so I figured it'd be a nice change of pace. I chose a Zealot. I've never actually played a Zealot before, but they are pretty similar to a Rune Priest. And I always like using the healer for video. It really helps stay alive while, so I can take video. If I was like a melee DPS or something, it might be kind of hard to really shoot anything because I'd be dead. So this test was mainly for European players. So it was held earlier in the afternoon. As you can see, quite a few showed up. So the test is for the new open RVR system. It's a radical departure of what we have been used to. So this is, I think, the first of at least three tests. The basic idea of it is that battlefield objectives will generate resources. These resources are actually physically carried from the objective back to the war camp, as we'll see a little bit later. So as each side collects a resource, it builds up the keep. The keep has five ranks, and you get different things at each rank. Around rank four is when you get the ram, and that's the only thing that can damage a door. So there's no more sitting around chopping at doors. Well, that's not really the only thing. Skaven will also, but we'll see more about that later. So as you can see here, we are kind of going for the tavern. It's very near to the Order of War camp, so getting a hold of it would be a, a big plus for us because then we could get the tavern, the lock, which is closer to us, and the tower, which is pretty close to us too. But of course, since this is the closest order, we're getting a lot of fighting going on too. I'm just throwing out heals as I can. I'm not grouped or anything, so... It's just uh, a lot of hots and a lot of flash heals. And here's, as I mentioned before, this is one of the resource carriers. So he'll make his way from the objective back to the war camp. He can be attacked by the opposite side. He can't be healed or anything by us. So we have to escort him. If we don't escort him, Order could kill him and then take the resources. They just have to interact with the object, and they'll get 25% of the resources he was carrying added to their pool. Alright, here's a closer look at what happens when the objective has built, enough, built up enough resources. A carrier will spawn. A player has to right-click on this, the carrier to get him to actually do anything, so somebody has to be at the objective. As you can see in the on the right-hand side, there's a tracker there. We have a one-star over our keep. That means it's rank one. At that rank, our carrier gets armor. So you can see this guy is actually wearing some armor. And just some more fighting. This was a fun little fight. I got in here for some reason. I think because order was coming up behind us too. But I thought everyone would follow me. Apparently they did not. So it's going to be me and a lot of order in a few seconds. saw the announcement in the background that we got rank 2. That will allow our resource carrier to have a amount, so he'll be, I think, like 50% faster or something like that. So I'm just kind of playing ring around the pillar here. It's only a matter of time, though. I only have so much action points. And here's the uh, new and improved resource carrier, as I mentioned. Also, they do take different routes. So if you remember, the first guy didn't go in the tunnel. This guy is. Alright. We're back at the keep right now, and 
we are at rank three. That lets us get mobile siege cannons. I clicked on the uh, the cannon there and picked one up. There's only a limited amount, so I get a buff that basically means I'm carrying it, and a little button above my action bar that let me deploy it. So I'm gonna take this and go up to the front and hopefully place it down somewhere useful. And here we are outside their keep. This is always a good spot. There's some fighting going on. I'm using the area of effect cannon. There's also a direct one that we'll see a little later. With this one, you have to worry that there's a wind indicator, and it also does less damage than the single target one. You'll see I'm missing a lot. It's kind of hard to judge the distances. They have a cannon they're using up there. Thankfully, they are not targeting me. That thing hurts a lot. I mean, I've killed a couple people with two shots on that before. All right, here we're. This is a single target cannon. You'll see some big numbers from it. Yeah, there's 2.4k. I think the uh, I've hit about I've hit close to 3,000 with these cannons before. So you definitely want to pay attention to them. Yeah, I like using the siege cannons though. They're pretty fun, especially if you don't usually do a lot of damage. Yeah, and I got that guy. Tried to run away, didn't make it. I didn't get to use any of the aerial, aerial mounts this time. There was actually a big line for them. I expect that'll be the way it is for a while, because they're new and kind of fun. But the whole mobile siege cannon thing adds a lot of dynamics to the battlefield, which I think will make things a little more varied. enough of the cannon. Someone deployed a bunch outside of our war camp for some reason. All right, and now we are at rank four, if you see on the indicator. That means a ram is available. You have to carry it from the keep, so someone did and set it up. Order is still at rank one, which means they just have the the armored carrier. They don't have the mobile siege weapons yet, but they have the defensive ones. Which did actually kill me during this. I didn't get that one on video, though. So, right now it's kind of like the, nor the system we currently have. We gotta get that door down. The aerial bombers will be in. And you'll see people parachuting off them onto the walls and or dropping bombs. The pick-lock skills are still there, so melee DPS will be going in. And sometime we'll see Skaven in the near future. Should be fun. All right, the valve covers it. See you next time.